Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just back for the uh, part two of my 4x4 conversion. As you can see, I got the solid axle uh, put in and uh, I went ahead and put a lift in the rear. So, this is pretty much it. Uh, you can see I did uh, extended brake lines for it. Um, when you're doing the, uh, the rear mount, back there I'll show it to you in a second you're gonna measure center hole to center hole uh, I was told everything from 51 and a half 52 54 and a half I measured and it was 52 from center of this hole to center of this hole you can see when you take off your two-wheel drive bracket you're gonna have this hole here um, at first I thought that's where one of these was gonna line up but no, it is 52 inches from there, like I said, up to the front. Um, so, basically, uh, what I still have left, um, as far as the solid axle goes, is to do the um, shocks. Um, I gotta mount this brake line here. This is kind of hanging out, it's working for now, but I will make a mount for that. Um, I went ahead and shaved off the uh, tool drive spring perches. And then down here you can see the, the new steering. Um, I went ahead and just ordered four wheel drive. I've been told that you can make your two wheel drive work. Um, I just had the money, so I went ahead and did the four wheel drive. Let's see if it'll focus again. There we go. I went ahead and did the four wheel drive um, steering arm there. And then down here, that actually, this bar right here, it already came with the axle. So, and then I've got the, um, basically a steering dampener there. So. And then over here, um, I've got the brake line. Um, I just did an 8L clamp for the mount. Um, really not the best though, just for the simple fact that if I'm ever, if it ever flexes too much, there's nothing here that's supporting it, so it basically bend right here. Um, I am going to do a mount for this as well. Just haven't got around to it. I wanted to get it drivable, just basically so I could run around town, um, make sure everything's going to work out how it needs to for me. So, but shave this side as well off, and I'll put the four-wheel drive spring perches. Um, I think it sits somewhere around here. One of these holes lines up if I remember right. So you can see where all the tool drive stuff came off right here. I still gotta do the uh, pan hard bar, um, or AKA the track bar. Um, it bolts up down here and then comes up. I gotta get a bracket for it. I don't have that yet. So, and then uh, the shackle reverse kit that I bought as well is in the rear. And the company that I got said that you actually have to trim it back here um the company i went with nothing really came with instructions i had to get online look at their website for the instructions and i had to call them several times hopefully you won't have that issue but see so yeah, i just went ahead and trimmed this right here because yeah this thing hung super low and it would have hit all along here so i'm hoping that's what they meant by trimming right there so you can see this side as well where that one hole for your bracket um two-wheel drive bracket comes off and then just where you drill I haven't got that one up there because the body mount is in the way and I wasn't able to get that one in yet as well because um, I already had the axle and leaf springs in place um, here in a little bit I'll uh, put that bolt in but my plan is actually to have all this welded to the frame there and up here um, on the boxed end kit, I'm gonna have it all welded in um, just so it's more secure. I don't really like it not being welded in. So, but that's pretty much it. Um, another thing is, mine actually is lifted a lot more than I thought. And because uh, my axle came off of a 91 cabin chassis, which apparently the suspension's a lot more heavy duty. Um, you can see I've got three spring packs here. 
I guess this bottom one here, if you get your axle off a regular OBS F350, it won't have this here. Um, it's just this one and this one. So that added um, actually a fair amount of lift. Uh, when I put this all in, this is supposed to be a factory ride height and um, you're supposed to be able to get four inch blocks to level your truck out. But those are six inch blocks. And so that's what I'm using to level my truck out right now. I'm gonna do traction bars. Um, I've gotta get the shocks, as you can see, there's no shock there. And I kinda half-assed put this together. Um, I'm gonna go get the right length bars that I need um, for the sway bar. But yeah, you can see I got the lift blocks in right now. So. And as you can see, I mean, it sits it's pretty level right now. Kind of walk around a little bit, show you from the front. And with the third leaf spring in the front, this thing rides pretty rough. I'm gonna see what I can do about making it a little nicer. Hopefully the shocks will help out. But right there, that's it. There's a dodge from a couple of my other videos. But, yep, so stay tuned for more on the 4x4 swap.